Let's get started. So, my party people, when it comes to word problems, if you're new to my classes, I want to make sure you know what's up. The first thing that we always do with word problems, my party people, is what? Already five people answered. Read the question. All right, you always want to read the question first. What I mean by read the question is not the problem from start to finish. No, I mean go straight to the part of the problem that says who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following, like the actual question sentence. You want to go straight there because what that's going to do for you is going to point out immediately what the goal of the problem is. It might not tell you what math to do, but it's always going to tell you what you're looking to find. So starting off right here, look. It says, hey, if there are 60 females, here's the question. How many males are there? Again, who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following, all that. Those are your question action words. This if right over here, this if, that's giving you information that's connected to the question. But overall, this is your question. So everybody, in one word, we are looking for the number of what? That's right, Jasharia. And yeah, we are looking for the number of males. Sounds good. So what we want, step number one, what we want, we want the number of males. And again, because they connect the information right here, if there are 60 females, how many males? Everyone, is it true that because those two pieces of information are in the same question sentence, that the number of males is somehow connected to 60 females? Is that true? Yeah, again, they put it in the same sentence right there at the end. Yes, you can feel more than confident that some way, somehow, this will probably help you in the future. So let's write that down together. We have blank males and 60 females. Sounds good. My as bad party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept. From adding and subtracting decimals, to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So here's what we're gonna do next. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna gather the information that we have. Again, first step, point out the question. Step two, what information do we have that could possibly help us answer that question? So what information do I see though? I see that at an airport gate, let's read it from the top there, at an airport gate, there are 20 males for every five females. Okay. So we have 20 males for every five females. Now at this point in the problem, the moment that you read that, this is where you should feel 100% confident that this is a proportion word problem. Can anybody tell me why I can confirm and say confidently that this problem here is a proportion word problem? Why is it? Give me a reason, you can use a sentence or two, but why is it that we can say that this is a proportion word problem. Rashawn, that's what I wanted to hear. The comparison. Notice how the first sentence says, hey, we have this many males for this many females. The next sentence says, you got this many females, how many males? Notice that you're comparing the same things. Males and females, males and females, and you're gonna set it up in the same way to solve it, 
but you're truly in but the first and second sentence you're comparing the same things males to females twice so now as long as we set it up in the same way we can solve it and be done so before i continue yes or no do you understand that before we continue do you understand that the problem does this twice it compares males to females twice And again, that's how you know it's a proportion problem. You are comparing the same things, and now we're going to compare them in the same way. So right over here, it says 20 males. So everybody, should I write 20 males here? Or should I write 20 males on the right side? On the left or on the right? Where should I write it to make sure that it's balancing out and make sure that we're comparing the same way? On the left side, that's correct. Because again, we have 20 males or blank males and we have 20 males we want to compare the same things in the same way so if we're starting with males and ending with females we'll be consistent start with males down here and end with females on the right side so 20 males for every five females sounds good right there five females so before we continue does it make sense to you that what we're doing right now is we have successfully compared males and females in the same way now. Males, then females. And if we wanted to, we could absolutely do females to males. No problem there. No problem there. All right, cool. Sounds good, guys. So now we're going to set this up, solve it, and be done. Here's the cool thing about it. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead here and say, hey, uh, M males and 60 females. So I'll go M over 60 again m over 60 left to right up to down you're good whatever just do the same way on the second try here so now we're gonna have 20 males and five females so that'll be 20 over five everyone that's it that's the setup we've compared the same things in the same way and we're good and ready to go to solve this that is it that is truly 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 it is anybody here nervous about the calculation that's about to happen Yeah, we might feel a little nervous and that's okay. And for the person asking if we can cross out the zeros, that's not gonna happen. Because if we're going the traditional way of using cross multiplication and division, here's what's gonna end up happening. What's gonna end up happening, and I'm gonna do this actually twice. I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this over here because I'm gonna show you two different ways to solve this here and here. But let's go ahead and show you the traditional way, cross multiplying and dividing. My party people, what happens when we cross M times five, that's gonna give us what? What's that going to give us? M times 5 is just going to be right 5M. No big deal. No big deal. That's 5M. Then, everyone, what is uh, 60 times 20? That's a little more cumbersome, right? It's a little more, a little more, a little trickier. But if we know what 6 times 2 is, which is 12, we just stack those two zeros back, right? So 60 times 20 should be 1,200. But again, you know, if we can skip all of that mental gymnastics, hey, that'd be nice. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But here we have 1,200. So once we have this here, everybody, what's the last thing that we need to do? And be specific. You know I like that. Leslie, Raymond, come on. Thank you, Jonathan. There we go. Divide both sides. Divide both sides by 5. I need to divide both sides by 5. And so in doing so, Divide right here and right there by 5, and we're good. Cross out the 5, we have M equals, and now we have to figure out, hey, what's 1,200 divided by 5, right? What's that going to be? So now we'll go ahead and have to do a little bit of long division if we didn't know how to do that already. So great, right? We're spending a little more time than we need to. 5 goes into 12, that's going to be 2 times. Okay, minus 10, that's going to be 2. Bring down the 0. 5 goes into 20 four times. Okay, sounds great. Subtract the 20. Bring down that 0. That's going to be a 0. So M equals 240 males. Right? Everybody, that's good. Right? 240 males. Looks like we got the correct answer. And that would be answer choice B. 
And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.